Robert Zagajski points out the spot where his father's body was found back in 1983 in a field on the outskirts of Munich. It's still hard for him. It was here that my father was murdered over 30 years ago. When I come back to this place, I always wonder if he suffered that evening. Who let him out here? Who murdered him? In one instant, their lives were changed forever. Robert Zagajski and his younger brother were teenagers at the time. Their father, Juro Zagajski, was just 43. The exact circumstances of his death are still unknown. There aren't any murderers. They vanished. There isn't anyone who gave any orders of any kind. Officially, no one can be connected with it in any way. What is known is that the orders came from Yugoslavia, the Zagajski's home country, and they came from high up. The family had emigrated to Munich in West Germany, but Juro wasn't ready to give up on his home country. He became politically active in the opposition to the Yugoslav socialist regime. Robert Zagajski soon concluded that the Yugoslav Secret Service had murdered his father, one of 29 dissidents killed in the largest unsolved killing spree in German history. These men may have known something about it, former elite Yugoslav agents for controlling dissidents abroad. One of them has now broken his silence. Bojidan Spazic was in charge of the so-called psychological subversion, a division responsible for character assassination. We organized everything and then we assigned criminals to carry out the deed itself. We gave them false passports, obtained weapons for them and provided logistical support. They were allowed across the border with no problems. The targets were mainly Croats who had taken up the cause of independence for Croatia, still part of Yugoslavia at the time. Yugoslav President Josip Broz Tito pursued them all over the world, but especially in West Germany. Munich International Airport, January 2014. Former Yugoslav Secret Service agent Josip Perković was extradited from the now independent Croatia to Germany. He may be able to provide more information. Yugoslavia's last Secret Service head, Zdravko Mustach, followed in April. The German federal prosecutor had issued an arrest warrant for the two former agents years ago, coupled with large rewards for information. They're charged with the murder of exile Croat Stjepan Jorekovic. This is the case German authorities know the most about so far. Jorekovic, CEO of Yugoslavia's state-owned oil company, fled to Germany and published books criticizing Tito. It's been revealed that he also worked for West Germany's intelligence service. Jorekovic was to deliver a manuscript to a garage near Munich which housed a secret printing shop. But he met his assassins instead. Jorekovic tried to run for his life, but the killers shot him twice in the back and shattered his skull. His grave in Zagreb, where Jorekovic was reburied after the collapse of Yugoslavia. Robert Zagajski knew his family well, his own father had been killed just a few months before. We're hoping more will come to light now. It may take a while, but I think step by step it will come. We've waited for decades, and a few more years now won't make that much difference. Hope remains that this brutal killing spree may yet be solved, at least partially. Thirty years afterwards, Robert Zagajski is seeking justice for his father. <laughs>